okay so welcome back so now in this video we will work on this login form dot file let me just close all of these okay so right here i will type final then focus node and then again i will type focus node but the f will be small and after this right here what we will do we will type required this dot focus node and that's it right here we will say final then text editing controller then the underscore uid the underscore uid controller will be equals to text editing controller and after this right here we will say final underscore login in form key and this will be equals to global key and in here we will say form state and that's it and then right here instead of returning the container we will return our form widget and inside this form widget right here in the child we will create our column widget and right here we will say key then it will be underscore login in form key let me just check it name okay it's right there so you can copy and paste that as well then right here in the column we will create a children and inside this children we will create our padding then inside this padding we will type const then edge insets dot only from the left it will be 8.0 then from the right it will also be 8.0 then from the bottom it will be let us say 24.0 after this we will create a child and inside this child we will say column and in this column we will create another children and inside this children we will create a custom form field as you can see right here and you need to import this custom form field dot dot file at the top okay which is this one inside the lib folder so the controller will be underscore uid controller as you can see okay make this so small so the control will be underscore uid the focus node will be widget dot focus node then the key type will be text input action dot okay it's a uh, text type so right here we'll type text input type okay then dot text and right here in the input action we will say text input action dot done then the label will be let's just say unique user id the hint will be enter your unique identifier you can add your own then right here in the validator we will say value will be equals to greater than yeah, right. 
you need to import this uh, validator dot file right here so the class name is validator so right here we will type validator and let me show you the top as you can see it is imported by itself okay so if it is equals to greater than validator dot valid user id then the uid will be the value let me just move all of this down below so so that our code become clean like this so move this down below so validate user id then the uid it is showing an error right here so if we check our validate dot at file let me okay so the our name is correct okay right here we need to type uid and as you can see there are gone so on the validator dot dot right here remove this value and type uid because as you can see we are using the uid and right here as you can see the error is gone now after this padding right here we will create another padding and right here we will type agent sets dot only from the left it will be 0.0, .0 from the right also it will be 0, 0.0 then we will create a child and inside this child we will have a container and inside this container its width will be double dot max finite then we will create another child and inside this child we will create an elevated button inside this uh, elevated button we will give it a style so we will type button style and inside this button style the background color will be material state property dot all then the color will be colors dot orange accent then after this we will say shape and right here we will say material state property dot all and in here we will say rounded rounded rectangle border and in here the border radius will be border radius dot circular its value will be 10 and now after this button style right here we will create the on pressed method but for now we will leave this as empty and after this on pressed we will create a child then padding and inside this padding we will say padding edge insets dot only from the top it will be 16.0 from the bottom it will be also 16.0 and after this we will create a child then a text widget and inside this text widget we will show a text login and we will give it as some style as well so the font size will be 24 and the font weight will be font weight dot bold uh, let us go back right here first open up a style then text style and in here we will paste it then the letter spacing will be 2 and the color will be let's just say colors dot blue gray 
and our login underscore form dot dot file is completed so before testing our application uh, if we open up the main dot dot file and right here we will remove this scaffold widget from here and here we will type login screen as you can see the first one and you need to import the login screen at the top as well then we will add brackets and the semicolon so when we uh, test our application the first screen will be the login screen and after this if you go inside this android folder and then if you open up this app folder and open up this file which is pure.gradle and right down below right here we will type multidex enabled and set it to true and now save this file and now if we go back to the login form dot file so now if we test our application uh, we will click on this run button and as you can see right here our application is running let me do it again as you can see it is refreshed and this is our text field right here we will enter our unique ID and when we click on this login button it will login us to our account but we didn't do that so now as you can see our design is completed and in the next video we will work on our login button when a user press on it then that user will be redirected to his or her account so see you guys in the next video